An old proverb says, if you have eight hours to cut a tree, use six hours to sharpen your axe. This applies to your research paper as well. Have you ever faced a situation where after submitting your paper for review, you thought that you could have worked a bit more to make it a bit more, what do you say, perfect? Well, I know your answer because the answer is a big yes for all of us, including me. So, so in this video, we will discuss what you should do after you have completed writing your paper, but before you submit it to journal for review. Typically, once you finish writing your paper, you think it's ready for submission. But let me tell you, it is not. In my career spanning 10 plus years, I have seen so many papers that were submitted for review, which I considered were not ready for review. And trust me, these were some of the best research, best research done with a lot of hard work and commitment. In fact, there is a lot of work that needs to be done after you think that you've finished writing your paper. I want to stress that word think, because if you think your paper is ready right after you have finished writing, then you are seriously mistaken. This video series will cover various aspects of your paper that you should focus on before submission. So sit back and enjoy the series and apply these suggestions to your paper. Tips that I share in this video may be the one that gets your paper accepted in the first round of review. But before we begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Vidhi Poddar. I'm an associate professor from Australia. And on this channel, I make videos for PhD scholars, postdocs, and early career researchers, as I want them to be successful researchers. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and invite your friends to join my channel too. All right, let's begin. Let me start by asking you one question. What do you expect when you submit your paper for review? I always expect the best outcome. That is, my paper should be accepted without modifications, or as we call it, accept as it is. But that is not always the case. The second best outcome could be accept with minor changes. I consider this as an equally good result for your paper. The third could be revise and resubmit. This takes time and effort, and on most occasions, your paper will be in this category. Researchers call it RR or RNR. So if someone says I'm doing RNR, that's what it means. They are working on their revisions. You will experience this with almost all top ranked journals. It will be a very rare case that your paper gets accepted as it is in a highly ranked journal. The fourth case is a reject. See, so there are three variations of reject and I will explain these three variations now. All these variations mean that in the current form, your paper will not be published by this journal. Now, the first variation of reject. This can happen if your paper goes to peer review and the reviewers think that this paper is either weak or not suitable for journal's audience. If this happens, please do not worry. You can either find another suitable journal or you can improve the paper and resubmit it to the same journal. Please take on board the feedback and improve the paper before you resubmit. This will definitely further improve your chances of getting your paper accepted. Now, the second variation of reject. This is when your paper does not go for review. It is rejected without review. And this is called a desk reject. This can happen for many reasons, such as the paper is not thorough. There are no new or useful insights. The research is derivative. The paper is not formatted correctly. It is using wrong referencing style or it just does not fit this journal. No matter what the reason, your solution to find is another journal and submit it for review. Now let me talk about the third and the last variation of reject. And this is reject and do not resubmit to this journal. This is when the paper goes for a peer review and the reviewers think that your paper is not worthy of the journal and they do not want to see the paper again. They have closed the door for your paper. This is what we should avoid at any cost. Let me repeat that again. This is what we should avoid at any cost. I consider this as a question mark on our credibility as researchers. Our reputation is at stake here when this happens. This should be avoided at all costs. There are many reasons why this can happen. One of the reasons is that the paper is half cooked when it's submitted for review. You may think that reviewers may not notice it and you could get lucky. 
but reviewers are experts and they can easily judge the paper just by looking at it. I have seen so many such papers that come to me when I'm either reviewing or editing a special issue. I know that I know what I need to see in a paper to ensure that it is worth my time to read and give a review. I'm not going to read the paper if I see some basic elements missing in this paper. It takes me less than a minute to judge if the paper should be reviewed or not. Remember that reviewers are not paid for doing a review. So it's also a matter of respect for their time that when you submit your paper, it is in the best possible form. Let me remind you that your reputation is at stake here. See, the academic world is very small and your reputation can go for a toss anytime. Imagine you sent a poor paper once and it gets rejected. The editors or reviewers do remember you. Next time, even if you send a good paper, the reviewers will look at your paper very carefully. So be very careful how you portray yourself in the academic community. I think I have explained to you the importance of portraying a right image. See, I have reviewed over 500 or even 1000 papers so far and rejected many of them. The for the very same reason I'm going to tell you. I also suggest you to look at this video where I explain why I rejected one paper recently. If you want to get your paper smoothly accepted, then please watch this video series completely. Follow all the steps that I recommend in this video and answer any questions that I ask you in the comments below. I discuss all these and a lot more in detail in my course. If you want to successfully publish in top journals, then you must not miss this course. It's a must for every researcher. So fill up the form below to express your interest in joining my course. First 100 people will get an exclusive discount to join my course. See, this is a fully online course, so you can learn it at your own pace. There are six modules and 60 plus lessons with videos, research activities and writing tasks. If you follow the course, publishing papers in high quality journal will be very easy. If you have any questions about the course, join my telegram group so I can answer them for you. Link is in the description below. If you have any suggestions or compliments, please leave them in the comments below as I enjoy reading them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. I want you to have faith in me and believe that anything is possible if you have dedication, courage and the right guidance. Like I always say, believe and succeed. That's all I had to say in this video. Thank you for listening. All the best and I'll see you in my course.